Nick Abdallah creates like it's a journey with no destination in mind. Sometimes the hardest part is to allow myself the freedom to play rather than try to want to make something specific. I think the biggest problem I have in starting a piece is trying to not think about what I want it to be. It's trying to find a way to work with it so that it tells me what it needs to be, that I can listen to what it needs to be. I've learned how to play again. The idea of repurposing, the idea of, of, of taking apart something which had a life and then I can give it a new kind of life, sort of reincarnation, I suppose, in a way, uh, it appeals to me very much. I'm a dumpster diver. I see stuff like, like various kinds of, of, of discarded materials, I, I grab them. People leave them for me. I can walk out my front door sometimes and find a piece of furniture blocking the doorway. Because these pieces are so evolutionary, as I work on them, they start with nothing. I add something, I move something, I change something, I take something away. It's a game that it plays, and I play with it. Um, the, more I, the more I work on it, the more possibilities I see. And because they're so open, you can see where I began, and you can see where they end. There's a, the full history of them. But the other part of the history is like in the surface of them, as I go over and over them, they begin to take on this patina that feels like maybe they came out of an archeological dig or they're still covered with dust or they have some sort of, of, of aspect of where they've been or how long they've been around. It reminds me of a memory I have uh, as a child playing in an old abandoned Catholic church. It was an old adobe church that had stucco on it. And at the entrance to, to the church were mesquite bushes on either side of the door. And as the mesquite bushes would grow every year and the wind would blow, it'd scratch into the surface of, of, of the stucco. And every year they would grow a bit and the scratches would go up. You had this big fan showing the entire life history of this mesquite bush. I find that process is exactly what, what I relate to in these particular works. When I first started, I thought I was making paintings, I'm making art, I'm making these things. Now, I want to get to that place, it's called the zone, when I'm making these things, where I lose track of time, I lose track of where I am, I just simply go someplace and stay there for the entire time that I'm making these things. When I don't go there, these things are simply work. They're hard work. They're pleasure when I go someplace else because I go someplace totally outside myself and totally inside myself simultaneously. I always know when to start, but I don't think I always know when to finish. My former studio mate who used to come through to get to his studio next door always would walk by and say, stop, stop. And I almost never would. I tend to overwork things. That's been a process in my life, my entire life. I seem not to know when to stop. Uh, maybe when I run out of time, when I run out of patience, maybe I run out of, of materials. I, sometimes I stop and I think that's it, but oftentimes I just want to do just a little more. Sometimes I think they're finished for a year, and a year later I come back and start tinkering with them. I could make it better. I could see another way of doing it. I don't know when to stop. That's the curse I, I have to live with. What's important to me about my work is just the making of it. I like sharing it. I can't tell somebody what to come to these pieces with. Everybody comes with their own experiences and they take away whatever they take away. For me, it's a matter of the identification. Uh, it, it may be a matter of what it does rather than what it is. For example, a piece that, that I might call dancer, you know, isn't really dancing, but it reminds me of something dancing. If somebody else sees something totally different in it, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. I don't believe that you can, you can program a viewer as to how to experience whatever piece you have. But the very fact that I just get the opportunity to every day to come in and one, play, number two, zone out and go someplace else, 
you know, I suppose if I had a big bonfire and used them to, uh, to fuel the fire, there's only a few pieces I would say, I can't let go of these. But I'm not so sure that they, uh, that they mean, they're not precious to me any longer. The process of making them was more important. You know, life's sort of like an etch-a-sketch. You draw on this thing and then you take this thing and erase it, you know, and do another one. You erase it. And there's no evidence you were there until you take that, that paper up and you see there's little indentations, like little worm tracks that said you were there. Maybe that's it, you know, there's a way of sort of, I was here for a moment. Maybe that's what it's about. <laughs>